We have previously learned that an emulsion is a mixture of two immiscible liquids stabilized using an emulsifier. Margarine is a very good example of an emulsion. In this lesson, we will learn about margarine, what it is, how it is made, and a few key properties. Vegetable oils are polyunsaturated fats. You may be familiar with the term unsaturated to describe the presence of carbon-carbon double bonds within a hydrocarbon structure. So a polyunsaturated fat will have many carbon-carbon double bonds within its structure. These fats are normally liquids at room temperature. We can hydrogenate or add hydrogens to carbon-carbon double bonds via passing hydrogen gas over these molecules in the presence of a catalyst at 60 degrees Celsius. This is, and you got it, a hydrogenation reaction. When these fats are hydrogenated, they are hardened. Hydrogenated fats have a higher melting point, and as a result, are usually solids at room temperature. Let's think about margarine and what it is used for. It is usually spread on bread or used in baking. We can use a spoon and scoop spoonfuls out. Margarine is usually stored in a plastic container, and it takes the shape of the container. Keeping in mind the properties and consistency of margarine, do you think all of the double bonds are hydrogenated, or only some of the double bonds in the hydrogenation process? Please pause the lesson to think about this, and resume once you are ready. In the production of margarine, only some of the double bonds of the polyunsaturated vegetable oils are hydrogenated. This is called partial hydrogenation. Softer and easier to spread margarine is less hydrogenated, whereas harder margarine is more hydrogenated. Are you thinking about the taste of margarine now? Do you feel like toasting a slice of bread and spreading margarine over it? Here is a bigger question. Can you taste the saltiness of margarine? As mentioned in the introduction, margarine is an emulsion of water droplets in oil. These water droplets are in fact salty water. This is why margarine usually has a salty taste. The salt content of margarine can be modified. We can have low sodium margarine, regular margarine, and even salt-free margarine. The emulsifier that is commonly added is lecithin, the same emulsifier used to stabilize ice cream. In summary, margarine is an emulsion of partially hydrogenated vegetable oils and salty water. When vegetable oils are hydrogenated, a molecule of hydrogen is added across a carbon-carbon double bond. This hardens the oil, and the degree of hydrogenation can be varied to give softer, or harder oils.